Well, I have this little flashlight here, and um, actually what I'm using it is an old battery, lithium battery, that I thought was bad. Now, you're not supposed to be able to charge lithium batteries with this Bedini Renaissance chargers, and I want to tell you, if you do that, you better monitor the voltage very carefully, uh, because lithium batteries... Um, will keep taking a charge eventually they can either explode take get on fire because they will, this thing will not go to the full charge green light with a lithium battery it's not designed for it, this device but uh, I decided to try to refurbish one of my old batteries I have like two batteries here anyway they're very strong that I could use in this flashlight and I decided as a little experiment to refurbish the battery that was in uh, that had an old battery that I thought was worn out I use this. Now after I refurbished it a couple times I can use a regular charger and you can see if I turn this light on it is extremely bright. It's got a lot of power no problem at all. Now I'm going to tell you how I did it but you have to be very careful with monitoring the situation you just don't want to walk away from the charger you also want to set the charger on the lowest setting but after you refurbished this, uh, this, uh, this battery that goes in here it's a 3.6 volt battery um, you can use the regular charger on it and it should it's been working fine for me now for a couple months so at least a month I think it's about six weeks so I've been using the hell out of this little flashlight <laughs> so I think it's uh, worked very well okay so this is the battery that was bad that didn't work in the other light so this is a standard lithium charger it flashes red while it's charging this is a 3.6 volt battery when this battery goes charged to 4.2 volts this light goes to green they found out 4.2 volts resting voltage that's what you charge it to on a 3.6 volt battery lithium is the optimal balance between battery life and putting enough charge in a battery whereby it's got enough power to operate the flashlight or device now since I already reconditioned this battery a couple times I can actually use this charger but I'm going to show you how I reconditioned the battery and I'm going to tell you be very careful with this because um, with this little battery I don't know if, I don't think it will explode that's why I'm going to tell you with this one because the big one if you freaking leave it on there it could blow up or set on fire the little one it, I, I don't think it's, it's just going to damage the battery and destroy it basically ruin it internally but you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You want to be careful about monitoring the voltage as you're charging it on the Bedini Renaissance charger. You are not supposed to be able to charge lithium batteries on that, recharge them on that, because the lithium batteries keep taking a charge. But you have to monitor the voltage, which means you don't freaking walk away from it and decide, hey, you know, forget about it or run it overnight or whatever. Just you know whatever you just might want to put something on a timer maybe an hour timer at a time but this is how I do it and I'll show you how it is okay first I have the battery here and you see how the red lead on a positive black lead on a pot on a negative and also have the um, I don't know if you can see that it's so bright it's the uh, it's such a bright light on there it's uh maybe you can see that better yeah you can see that better in the camera 3.91 volts that's still got a fairly good charge in it actually now I turn it this down all the way to setting one and just turn it on okay now this will start very 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 slowly on setting one very 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 slowly taking a charge when it gets out to about 4.1 or 4.2 volts I shut it off that's it that actually will bring this battery back to life again where you can use the normal charger on it after this you only have to do this one time now if you exceed 4.2 volts maybe if you go to 4.3 or 4.4 you're not going to actually damage this battery but that's not good stop it actually at 4.1 or 4.2 don't go past 4.2 volts but that's why you don't want to like leave this and leave it laying around it might take several hours it might actually take a few hours to get this thing back to fully charged again but after you condition this battery, the lithium battery, and like I said, you're not supposed to do this with this because if you let this sit, this thing will just keep continuing to take into charge. At least it'll, at the minimum, it'll damage the battery, and it'll never go to the green light. 
because the green light means the battery can't take a charge anymore. That's why they say do not use this for recharging lithium batteries. But you can use it if you're freaking careful. And careful means you have to monitor this voltage. In other words, do not exceed 4.2 volts. If you go a little bit over it, I mean, it's not going to freaking end the world there, but if you can go over more than that, the reason I'm also stating with this size battery, because this size battery is so small, it's not going to actually blow up. It shouldn't. Famous last words. It should, it should just damage the battery, but do not go beyond. But, you know, it's just like any damn thing. You know, when you're um, putting gasoline in your lawnmower, don't smoke. Don't spill gasoline on a hot engine, right? I mean, it's it's like one of those things, right? I mean, it, it's it's only dangerous if you're doing something stupid. And the stupid thing is, if you're doing something stupid with this, is you're exceeding, you're not watching this, you're, you're exceeding the 4.2 volts. So anyway, we're going to let this sit a while. We're going to come back to it, and I'll show you that once I get to the 4.2 volts, I'll put it in a recharge mechanism that little other recharger and you'll see the green light is on but after this is done this actually has some kind of pulsing technology in this Bedini Renaissance battery recharger restore that actually will get in those areas where there's problems where the chemicals are like stuck I don't know exactly what happens sometimes the chemicals are stuck on the areas where they should be uh, interacting with other plates or whatever's inside this battery that structurally works this thing always works as long as the battery is not physically damaged, shorted, or at least there's some kind of chemical juice still left in them. In other words, the chemicals actually in these batteries, even though they're sealed, they evaporate. Even though they're sealed, there's always microscopic evaporation occurring. If there's nothing left in them, you know, it's not going to work. But if, there's, if the battery is not physically damaged, there's some actual chemical co composition still in there, that's the electrolyte. This will always work. A lot of times the batteries are, even these batteries get, I guess the term might not be technically called sulfated, but that's really what it is. Some of the chemicals are like clumped up in areas where they're not working to work as a battery, where they're chemically uh, interacting with the anode and the cathode in the battery. I'm probably not using the correct uh, uh, scientific engineering terms, but you know, you know what I mean. This actually wakes up inside the battery um those those chemical blockages it's almost as if you have a you know arteries and veins in your body and it's improving the circulation of all that electrolyte but it's almost like improving the or circulation in the blood in your body almost akin to maybe you know the life of the body it's bringing back the life of the battery so anyway we'll leave this on here for a while and uh it's good you can see it's going to take a while because it hasn't even moved up a hundredth of a volt yet so it probably will take more than a few hours and eventually it will get up to 4.2 volts it's already been restored but I'm just doing this as a demonstration now you know that I've done this this battery is actually functioning like a new battery again pretty amazing okay so I put it at 4.1 volts and that's good enough actually that's good enough now, what that did is actually condition the battery. You don't want to go too far with it. I mean, I could have went to 4.2 volts, but that's enough to condition the battery. And then you can use the regular charger after it, and it should work like an or it should work well. It should actually restore the battery. Like I said, this Bedini charger will always work to fix a battery as long as the battery is not physically damaged or there's no electrolyte left in the battery. And even though these batteries are sealed. The electrolyte does evaporate even from a sealed battery microscopically and they dry out eventually. But they have a lot, lot, lot more life in them. Usually the battery chargers themselves screw these damn things up. And this is not, like I said, it's not designed. I gotta repeat this 20 times because I don't want people just leaving this thing on a lith on a battery charger when this is a lithium battery. It'll just keep putting a charge in it until the battery either damaged, blows up, goes on fire or something. you got to watch that voltage. But if you're watching the voltage, I mean, it's just like, think of it like pouring gas into the gas tank on your lawnmower. I mean, you got to watch how much gas you put in there. You don't just let it overflow, overflow onto the hot mower, onto the hot motor and 
cause a flame, right? Same difference. Use your head. Just like anything, you know. We drive a car, right? Drive down the road. Make sure you don't turn the wheel to 90 degrees to the right and run into a, a, tree, a tree or hit a sidewalk and run a pedestrian over. I mean, you can use this to charge these batteries as long as you are watching that voltage. So this battery should be fully charged now.